Right, everyone, it's the 1st of June, 2017. I've had to make a diversion around this beautiful field, which I've been through before. Usually going back to Cheddar, but... It's just the start of the walk, really. I've done the big climb up. And there's this beautiful field full of buttercups. There's, um... Brent Knoll right over there, look. Right over there. That'd be a walk I'm going to be doing sometime soon. Um, anyway, I've had to make this diversion around this field. Because at the gate where I was going to go through, which is the quick way, there was our furry beast. Look. Just zoom in on one. Wait a minute. See that? See them over there? That's our furry beast, that is. Now, I've still got to go in that field where there's a bull over that gate there. There's the gate, and there's cows moving about with calves. A big herd, maybe. Maybe a hundred, but big, big cows and baby calves. Now I have got probably 30 seconds. I can, I reckon I can do it in less than 30 seconds. Get over, over that gate there in front of me and then turn straight left over another gate. There's no cows round this bit. The horses are still in the field. Now I, not long ago, I was able to walk right across all these fields that um, before the cows were released. I'm going near, this is Piney Slice. So basically I've come across this beautiful field, look. Which is a type of burial mound, I believe. Now if, say they were, say they had all been around this gate here, my plan would be just to head down that field and get over a gate further down. So I did have backup plan. But the actual pathway is over this gate here. And through a gate there. And then down to Piney Sites. So the cows are there. There they are. They're nowhere near me. They've actually moved away from that gate, but it might have been risky for me to come down through there. So I just put the I'm just gonna put the camera down a minute. Right, so as we can see some they're very big cows as well these. I'm in a field with them. They're not near the gate. But they've got calves, lots of calves. They're probably moving down that way. They haven't been let out into those areas over there yet, you see. They're being confined. So what I've got to remember when I come back... ...is that the cows could be... ...will be in this field. <laughs> see, cow pack. They have been round the gate, but... They always seem to go round gates. So this is just a little introduction. They could have all been by around that gate there and there's a possibility I could have just waited and I could have come down here but there could still be 40 cows up, up there. Just because they're heading down into the meadow more now. Yeah, so they're all over there. there are lots and lots of calves I can see. And they can move quite quickly, these cows. Anyway, it's cow time, everyone. It's cow time. And this is one of the routes I've got. Now, if, say, I came back this way, I saw the cows are all round here, I would be able to get through that gap there and into that field again. 
So there are There are alternatives. So this is Piney Slight. It's the start of my walk, really. This is the problem when I'm going to be doing the road barrow area. I have to take into account how long it takes me to get over here. I mean, road barrow is right over there, look. Right over there where those tall trees are in the distance. That's Rowbarrow Warren there, and I'm heading for the fort, which is beyond it. Now, depending on how long it takes me to do this section, I am doing a shortcut, by the way. I'm after Piney Slights. I'm going to be turning down that way, and it's more or less straight over there. <clears throat> but I have to make a decision what I'm doing with the... I think I'm going to head straight for the fort, go down what I call the parade when I'm up on the Mendips there, further over. I'm going to go down, do the fort, then come down, then come up through the valley, up through the stream of Rowbarrow, surrounded by the forest. And um, then at, when I get to the end of that stream, I will have to make a decision which is based on time. And it could mean coming back through this way, which might be the quicker route. Or I have to go down into Shipham and then head for um, Winscombe and pick the bus up there. So it's not a race. It's all about the beautiful countryside. And it's the 1st of June today. Today is we've had thunder storms. I've had my computer um, on blue screen. I had to it took me two days to fix it. I had my router blown up. Two hundred and fifty properties were attacked by the lightning. Their wiring burnt out. Their routers burnt out, and their computers. Um, I don't know how your insurance covers you for that. Fortunately. It was mainly infinity wire that was affected for me. I was able to use my, uh, my old hub, which is, was infinity, but didn't have the same um, wires. <coughs> so I was able to still connect up my router to Zara's old laptop, which she's given to me, which I use as pure backup. It's used as backup. So I've now got them in place, if necessary, for the future. And uh, it does, does do quite well, but because when, when you're used to broadband infinity, which is the high one, you know, levels three and four, high, fast, when you have to go to what is still quite a fast broadband, it seems slow. It does. But I was very pleased with myself because I got the blue screen of death. And that is what it's called. When basically you've either been attacked by a virus or you've got something that needs repairing, like um, a reboot system, which is what was happened in my case. The boot system wasn't accessible. So I had to keep playing about with the menus. Um, the system hadn't gone completely off, you see. It left me, there was no, I couldn't access anything. I couldn't access my photos, my videos. I couldn't access windows. Um, I couldn't access anything like that. I couldn't do no, nothing. I had to rely solely on this one screen, which in the beginning kept flashing fast. And I had to just keep making notes as over, you know, loads of time to jot a word down. In the end, it stopped going fast. Still quite quick though, and I managed to keep plowing through the various menus it was offering me till I struck after two days. I tried to write stuff down so I wouldn't forget. Something happened. I mean, all the time, my Defender Offline, 
was scanning apparently but it, it was doing that for about four days and nothing happened but it could have been happening I made a mistake in the beginning I interfered with the scan the scan was supposed to have happened then it would have rebooted I didn't have enough patience and it didn't tell me to wait either it didn't say wait 15 minutes in the beginning and of course with the computer being old I kept thinking that's it now it's dead and I had more or less given up and then I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before I just decided to look at the menus again and I fiddled around for about I don't know half an hour and suddenly lo and behold my picture came up my screensaver I couldn't believe it I just left the computer alone for a little while I didn't do nothing this was without any router attached by the way either this was offline because I had been having trouble with it being able to work with it offline so anyway but I didn't recognize this mega something or other the name of the company from America so I don't know if someone else is running my computer I really don't know it's possible that some other company has got in there and rescued me but I got no idea all I know is at the moment it turns off it comes on restarts allows me to access I've got a brand new router that arrived yesterday fast so we're all wired up again but this time I've made sure that the adapter to the new router is plugged into one of those surge protectors I thought it had a built-in one so I didn't actually put it in the extended lead where all the other plugs go because nothing else had blown but now it goes in there with the others surge protection because the computer hadn't if I hadn't had the computer on that surge protection I think that would have really gone so anyway that's a little bit of um this is you know the life we lead we, we live a life with computers they affect us we rely on them we enjoy them they're useful like I said because of the laptop and the old hub I was still communicating a bit on Facebook to let everybody know that um, what had happened but it didn't really make much difference to them because I was still able to communicate anyway I got my fast broadband I've turned it off at the moment I've turned the computer off I think I've left the broadband the hub on but so if there's a hint of thunder tonight I'm, I might turn them off and unplug them because that's what I always used to do you know when there was a storm I used to unplug everything I used to turn the telly off I wouldn't watch telly I wouldn't answer the phone I'd, br I'd weakened and started to think oh it'll be alright right we're now near Piney Sykes Farm everyone there we go the cows are moving down that way there is a possibility I could have come but see when I come back they could be moving back up again because they're like that up and down and soon they'll be allowed in those other fields so here we are I love this little walk around this farm it's lovely I've videoed this a few times now and uh, of course not with this camera all the time because I never had this camera last year I had a, the other one which um, got damp something happened to it I've had two they don't last long I've written they last they're, they're good for a year then they start packing up and I ain't even finished paying for this one yet <laughs> I got to pay for it in, Ju in July I've paid some of it I've got to pay the rest of the way start whacking on interest 
Well, that's what I have to do, you see, when you're a poor pensioner like me. <sighs> Over the lovely old style. <sighs> now, go that way, should be. You're supposed to go that way. So it's got that little hand rest for you. You see, you're supposed to climb over that way. That's it. There's the style. I'll just video this bit for today. There's the farmhouse. Piney slights. It's very peaceful here. Yeah? Lovely to live up here, isn't it? Lovely, really. Look at that field. Isn't that beautiful? Everything busy and buzzing. Got another stile to climb yet? I'll keep it rolling for now. Be one of those long videos that people get bored with. Uh, I know that one day, I mean, I'm struggling now getting up that hill. I do do it though. But that hill out of cheddar when you have to come up through the wood there. I mean, as long as you take your time, which is what I do, it's not too bad. But, of course, I'm carrying lots of water today. The rucksack's twice as heavy as in the winter. <sighs> Plus, you have to take water, some sort of waterproofs. Well, I haven't. I didn't bring the umbrella, either. They said it wasn't going to rain today. You can't always trust them, though. Look at that tree there, look. That is